Hello everybody! How are you? I hope you are doing great today. For today I prepared some of my new stuffs and I would like to share it today. I have some coloring books here, some markers, pencils and inks. I don't know exactly what I purchased, but my art journal helps me so much. I have uh, here a page which I called October Hole and uh, <laughs> I wrote down here everything. I just remembered uh, that I would like to show you in this haul. Uh, let's start with these art supplies. I purchased some more uh, Distress inks. It was everything on sale, you know. <laughs> So I also tried this spray stain, uh, then also I have this stain. This little bottle has a sponge, so you can just, you know, glide over the paper and if you don't push, you don't have any leaks. I have some Distress Oxide, just, I, I just wanted to try it, but I don't like the finish. I like more these Distress inks. Great thing are these little stamp boxes. It was a set of 10 for, I don't know, two dollars from AliExpress. So it's cheap, it's not of high quality, it's not uh, the same as this pad, you know, but it works. Another, I will go with Artex brand and I have here these markers. We already tried them, we already swatched them and I already showed you some pages colored with them. They have really hard tips, both chisel and bullet. These are really hard. It's easy to color with them but the result isn't very nice. On the other hand, these Artex pencils are wonderful. I haven't tried them on the, on the whole page yet, but we tried them on uh, some scrap paper. Uh, I guess we didn't do swatch. I will prepare the swatch cards and then we, do, we, then we will do some swatching. But when I tried them, they just felt so good. I purchased them because I wanted to use something instead of my Arteza pencils. Yeah, and I think they will be a good alternative. I will go uh, to these things. First, I have this brush. Oh, I have two brushes. Um, you know, I was using these two uh, for brushing my pages when I was coloring or doing everything. And yeah, these are just cosmetic brushes, which I got for my birthday, I guess, when I was like 10. Uh, I really have them for ages. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking, I want some new brush. So I purchased these two and this one is really amazing. I purchased it on uh, AliExpress. And also I have these sponges. These are also uh, like makeup sponges but I want to use them with the inks and I think this could work very good. And now the Oho markers. I have these for set of 48 uh, Oho markers with colorless blender. Today <laughs> I purchased the whole set of 216 brush and bullet tips Oh, who markers? <laughs> I know, I know, I wanted to wait until Christmas, <laughs> but you know, I just couldn't wait. Yeah, uh, <laughs> let's look at these coloring books and most of them are with this Halloween theme. So let's start with this one. For example, this is one of the new uh, coloring books by Coco Vio. But look at these pictures. You know, I, I saw them and I just needed to purchase it. I really love the style, this anime style. Then I have two coloring books by Oli Colors. 
you saw my review on this one. A doodle attack coloring book is quite nice. Uh, you always have some animal and some doodles around it. I did this picture. I will have the video next month. Next, I will show you this magic and dark fantasy. Oh, pumpkin princess. I missed this picture when I was browsing the book. But this is really, wow, interesting. <laughs> I would like to color this picture. Yeah, dragon. Now I have two Coloring Heaven magazines. I have this bad girls Halloween special. Here you have some uh, grayscale pictures and also line arts. I think that the Halloween Halloween special from last year was much better. I liked the pictures from the last year much more. I would like to color this picture as next in this book. And I already colored this picture. I used Oh markers and I think it turned out pretty well. And now we have Alice in Wonderland special. Yeah, and oh guys, these pictures are just all gorgeous. <laughs> Look at it. But what I noticed is that it just looks like every girl has the same face. I don't know if it's because and I don't mean that um, every page with Alice, you know, but let, let me show you some pages. There should be some illustrations which are not Alice or I don't know if this is a heart queen or if this is Alice. Ah, queen of hearts. Yes. So if this is queen of hearts, it should not be Alice, right? But it's and this is white queen. Yeah, she has a little different face. Um, this, but this is Alice for sure. And this is Queen of Hearts. And I don't know, aren't they the same? You know? <laughs> As next coloring books are these by Sally Berry. I showed them to you as well. So we just look into them very quickly. This is the cozy Halloween coloring book. And this Witch Beauties, where I colored the pictures. So I will show you them only very quickly because you saw them last time. Yeah, my Jojo picture. <laughs> and the last one. Next is this Tales from Witch's Cottage by Hannah Carlson. I love her illustrations. I just, I'm, I'm just not able to color in them. I think I managed to do uh, a little bit of magic in a bottle, you know. Really, her books are wonderful. All right, let's look at this. Witch coloring book for adults. This was just a random coloring book uh, from Amazon. And I get it because I quite like the pages, you know, the illustrations. So here are really nice pictures as well. Which apothecary? Yeah, this was also just a random coloring book from Amazon, you know, because I don't know, I liked some of the pictures <laughs> and I just wanted to show you something new, something you may not know. <laughs> My God, these eyes in the bottle. Let's look at The Witch Magic by Jana Prosvirina. And as always, her illustrations are gorgeous. And I finished one, the first picture from this book and also in this book. This is the first picture. And I use Prismacolors and soft pastels for the background. You already know I have these coloring books by May Yu. And here we have Princesses as Witches and 30 Days of Cute Witches. So look how cute <laughs> are her pictures. And it's even more cute because they are chibi. I will show you all the pictures which I colored. Here we go. 
This is the last one. I was so angry when I was coloring this picture. It was so sunny day that the sun was so shining on my picture and I was so angry because it uh, flared to my camera and it doesn't look good. And then what happened? I wanted to try to do the skin tone with all markers, but I have on this small set of 48 markers and I used the lightest like flesh uh, color, you know, on the face. I tried to blend the red into the flesh color and it turned out orange. It just turned out orange. <sighs> yeah, but the other pictures are quite good and I enjoyed them. Uh, on this picture I used this uh, glitter glue, so it's pretty nice and sparkly. Uh, then I did this one. I used stencils for the background. You will see it on the video. And this was my first picture. Then we have princesses of witches and I colored two pictures here. Do you have always uh, like how much? 10 pictures? But you have them two times here and you always have this colored version which is colored uh, by May Yu and on every set you have different color combinations and you have just these Disney princesses as witches. It, this is really nice and new format. I really like it. Yes, so this is uh, my first picture and I did Rapunzel. Let's look on something different. I wanted to include them into my previous hole, but I forget to include them. So I have them here now. I haven't color in them, but I absolutely plan to color some pages, you know. So this is Europe coloring book. In this one you have some country, you know, and everything about the country. Then we have the plant parents wish list, and this is awesome. It's the similar format, you know, only you have the flower and you have the instructions how to care about the flower. <laughs> and the last book by Jen Racine, these um, astrology cats. And this is nice. You always have, all right, like this. You always have the big cat as the sign. And then you have the other page where you have all the information about the sign. So this is also very informative and unique. On every page you really have a cat. So yeah, just that's just book for me. <laughs> and now I have a new book by Chris Ortega. Yeah, so I have at least her second book and I love it. I plan to color this picture. Creepy girl coloring book by coloring book cafe. She just looks totally like Wednesday. The illustrations are just gorgeous. She, she her face, her impression is just like Wednesday. And the last one is Chibi Girl Spooky Adventure coloring book by Larissa May. And that's that's so cute. If it should be creepy, it's still so cute. And yeah, I'm saving this one for my 216 Ohu oh, markers. So that was October's haul. I will have more stuff to show you next time. Thank you very much again and have a beautiful day or evening and see you next time. Bye!